What's up, my brothers? Week one of No Nut November 2023 is now over. So how did you guys do? Did some of you relapse? Are some of you still holding strong but still struggling and you don't know what to do next? I think my dog is video bombing us. <laughs> He's so cute. So this video is for everyone, whether you relapsed or not. So let's talk about some of these concerns. The first thing to understand is that week one is always going to be the hardest week. This is where you're going to have the most abrupt changes from what you're used to and you're trying to develop a a new normal, a, a new way of living. You're also going to be experiencing a steady but gradual rise in your testosterone level that's going to peak around day seven. And research has shown that that peak is about 145 plus percent more than you are used to. Your hardest cravings are also going to hit during the end of your first week. So if you did manage to finish the first week, this shows your commitment, and you should be proud of yourself. You also may have noticed some changes in yourself during this first week. Maybe you're more emotional, you're, you're more aggressive, uh, you're more anxious, uh, more easily agitated. Maybe you're having a little bit of trouble getting to sleep. Um, th these things are normal, and there may be some other things that you may have experienced as well. Leave a comment down below so that others can get an idea of what you went through compared to what they went through, and you might be surprised at how common many of your experiences really are. So for those of you who did relapse, that's not an excuse to quit the rest of the month. So what if you relapsed one time, two times, or every single day or multiple times a, a day during that whole first week. So what? It doesn't mean you wait until next year to start No Nut November all over again. You still have three weeks in this month. If you can't complete the whole entire month, maybe you could complete three weeks of that month. The point is, don't quit, jump back on that horse, and try again. You could look at it this way. Week two could be your new week one. So, so think about that. Give yourself a fresh start. One thing you want to do is identify the reason that you relapsed. The number one reason for all relapses is boredom. And boredom happens through isolation, through not being social, not keeping yourself busy, not occupying your time with other interests. Um, you, you name it. Think about what you did wrong, and what you could be doing differently during the rest of this month. For those of you who did complete the first week, congratulations, because it is rough. So as of the recording of this video, it's day eight. And for those of you who completed the first week and you're moving into the second week and maybe you're struggling a little bit, don't be upset by that. That's perfectly normal. You're not rebooted yet. It's just the first month. Some things you could be doing is, for those of you who were successful, is continue what you did during the first week. Concentrate on self-improvement and not the day count. I have said this before, your day count is not NoFap, and NoFap is not your day count. NoFap is about getting porn out of your life and self-improvement. Reach out to others for support and to give support. NoFap is a team effort, no one is alone, you're not the only one doing NoFap, there are tons of guys out there doing NoFap. Your first and your second weeks are going to be the very worst part of your first month, which is called the withdrawal phase. You have to expect that, you have to face it, and you have to push through it. Once you move into week three and four, NoFap becomes more of a new normal. You're just repeating what you did that was successful before and you're just continuing those good habits and it does 
get easier. Basically, you have to stay committed and keep working on self-improvement. Next week's video is going to be uploaded on the 14th, and it's going to be about mindset change. You're already working on the commitment part. Mindset change is where you're going to change the way you think about things, change the way you think about your environment, uh, about triggers, uh, about what other people are doing, or, or anything that's thrown your way. I have said this also many times before, none of that stuff matters. The only thing that matters is how you conduct yourself. In the description below, I have links to my two Discord servers. Both are filled with a bunch of great guys with similar experiences as you, similar struggles, similar anxieties, you, you name it. So join us, get to know us, share your thoughts, your concerns, your ambitions, your goals, whatever they are. We can help you out. Leave a comment in the description below. I personally will answer you. If I don't answer you that very day, it's because I am busy. I do have a full-time job. I do work a lot of overtime, but I do check once in a while and I will give you a personal response. I know what it's like to feel like there's no one there to help you, no one there to answer your questions or guide you. I was there myself, so feel free to use me as a resource and I will do my best to help you out. So until next week, check out these two videos right here. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace.